Hi, this is Rob. How to use the input function on the TI-84 Plus CE Python Edition. If you get any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. The input function is this. To get the input function to your program, go to Functions here, which is the Y equals button here. Go to I-O here. I-O stands for Input Output. Input is number 2, so press the number 2 button. The input function is designed to get information from a user so that the program can use that information. For example, to ask your user information, you need to put your question into quotation marks. We will ask, what is your name? Make sure your cursor is inside these parentheses. Using the green alpha button here, and the green letters above the keys type what is your name in quotation marks. Green alpha button, the quotation mark is here. What, the space is here, the zero button. The question mark is here, the negative button. I am going to put a space before the closing quotation mark. We will run the program. Press the Run tab, which is the Trace button here. The program is asking, what is your name? Then the user will type the name and then press the Enter button. My name is Rob, so I will type Rob then press the enter button. So the program stops here. Let's go back to the program and add more lines of code. Press the editor button, which is the trace button. Move the cursor down to this line. Type name equals. To get the equal sign, go to this tab, which is the window button here. The equal sign is here. Arrow down to it. Press select, which is the trace button. That brings the equal sign up here. Press paste, which is the graph button here, to paste the equal sign into the program. What we are doing is assigning the user's input to the variable called name. Move the cursor down to here. Now we're going to get the print function to print out the user's input. Go to functions, which is the Y equals button here. Go to IO here. Print is number one. It is already highlighted. So press the enter button. Type hello in quotation marks. Then a comma, the comma is here. We also want to print whatever is stored in the variable called name. So type name here without using any quotation marks. We will now run the program by pressing the trace button. I'll type my name, then press enter. And the program returns, hello Rob. I'll go back to the program by pressing the trace button. The default variable type for the input function is a string variable. A string variable is text, letters. We cannot do math with text. We need numbers. Look at this program. We are asking the user, how old are you? Then we will store the user's answer into the variable x. Then add one to x and print this statement. Next year you will be, then the value for Y. Run the program, press the trace button. The program asks, how old are you? The user types 15 and presses the enter button. We get a program error. 
because the input function turns the number 15 into a string type variable. So when asking for numbers, you need to use the input function with the integer function or the float function. Let's look at the integer function first. I'll go back to the editor by pressing the trace button. The integer function will convert the user's input into an integer, a whole number, a counting number. When you ask someone's age, they do not say I'm 15.6 years old. They say a whole number, not a fraction or a decimal number. Move the cursor under the I here. Go to the Functions tab by pressing the Y equals button here. Go to Type here. The integer function is number 1. It is already highlighted, so press the Enter button. I'll move the cursor under the I here. Then press the Delete button here to delete this close parentheses. Now I need to move the cursor at the end of this line and put a close parentheses. Okay, let's run the program. Press the trace button. How old are you? The user will type 15 and press the enter button and the program responds. Next year you will be 16. The other type of number in Python is a floating point number. A floating point number is a number that has a decimal and this float function will convert a string or integer into a floating point number. To get the float function go to functions which is the y equals button arrow over to type here. There is float, number 2, press the 2 button. And there is the float function. I'm going to change this integer function to a float function and then rerun the program. I'll go down to this float and delete it. Now run the program by pressing the trace button. How old are you? I will enter 15. Then press the enter button. The program then responds. Next year you will be 16.0. That 16.0 is a floating number because it has a decimal. For doing math programs, I think that most of the time you'll want to use the float function to convert a user's input into a decimal number. Let's go back to the program when we have the integer function. We will run the program and we will see what happens when a user inputs a floating point number. Run the program by pressing the trace button. How old are you? I will enter 15.5. Press the enter button. And we get an error. The integer function cannot convert this into an integer. Just be aware of this. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.